Hi everyone, I'm Lorenz and in this video I'm going to talk about the two X vs Sever games on the GBA. X vs Sever is a marvel. They are tie-in games that are actually leagues better than the movie. Seriously. These games would have made it on their own, even without the licensing. The movie really was crap, it's one of those rare movies that seems to be universally hated by how boring it is. The story in the games doesn't have to do anything with the plot of the movie, in fact the game came out before the release of the movie, but it had some inspiration from the movie script. And the second one is a sequel after the first game. So the movie was so bad it didn't have a sequel, but the game was so good it spawned a sequel. That's rare. The game is a series of first person shooter levels split by text based parts, and the games are top notch. Graphically, they are one of the best looking games on the GBA. They even have attention to detail, like chairs moving when you shoot at them. The only downside to the games are the controls, which feel retro and clunky. But by clunky, I mean that they feel outdated. You won't feel the same playing Doom on a PC, but on the GBA, these mechanics feel old. And because they couldn't translate spot on controls on the GBA, the games feel slow. Because it's more finicky to aim and move on the tiny GBA than on a PC with keyboard and mouse. But this will be the only downside. In rest, the games are impressive. So while they aren't masterpieces for the fun factor they offer, they are masterpieces for what the developers managed to pull off. The controls are fine, the graphics are superb, and the game isn't bad either. So if you want to marvel at a tiny game that made it on top, check this one out.